Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. What's popping? What's going on in the life of an Aquarian for the month of September 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in this space of starting some new new? Having to transform the way that you do the things that you do do. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo head, this first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you right damn now, okay, go find another reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. Okay? To the um, to the new subscribers, you guys, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight a fuss, though. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We laugh. <laughs> we grow. We love. Sometimes we cry. We enlighten. We evolve. Positive vibes only over here. Returning family up. What's popping? I missed y'all. Did you miss me? You know I had to say the best for less. Y'all asses, listen. You guys, thank you for showing all that love for the last video that I did for you guys. Thank you so very much. Period. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the love, the readings. You guys have been one of my most top supporters since I started my journey. So thank you, Aqua Babies, for loving on little old me like you does, does. Okay? You guys, <laughs> these messages ain't going to resonate with everybody. You know, I shouldn't have to say this shit, but I do. Leave what, leave what don't resonate, you know, and take the rest with you, you know, or take, you know, the other way around. Shit, it's driving me crazy saying it so much. Take, take what you need and leave the rest, okay? Also, feel, uh, feel free to watch your sun, your moon, your rising, as well as your Venus sign, all right? For the information, uh, uh, information that you may need. I don't know why I'm so damn tongue tied. Words all oh, fucked up. Um, also, this will be for the month of September. I will be also doing a mid month, you guys. Also, I will be leaving. I was just informed it was on the 21st. So I'm going to cut our readings, y'all. Uh, we're going to say the, the 20th. So get your damn request in by the 19th, you guys, because I will be in Mexico. So because of that, um, y'all go ahead and, you know, this shit is below. Look it up. All right. Let's get it. With that said, this will be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Aquarius. Y'all know this, so I have to hurry up and get that damn intro out the way. No Aquarius, nobody hit me in my eye, and y'all ain't finna clown me like, Mocha, what the fuck is that? You try to do some makeup? This part is the makeup. I tried to do that myself because I couldn't scrub the rest of this damn eye tattoo off, okay? But what was going on, I had my whole eye of the tiger, dragon ass, sagua type shit going on, and it was beautiful. And... Uh, I don't know mocha like a wine. What had happened was I had sweated last night. I'm trying to wipe that off. So it was like half ass and I wiped it off and this part didn't want to come and it started hurting. So I was just like, no, fuck that. It's just gonna, I'm just gonna scrub it a little bit later when it's not hurting. But so the meanwhile we, the show must go on. Okay. So let's get it. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna start off with your intuitive uh, messages for the month of September. What I got for you all was mask off. Resurrection, drama free, trust issues, control, divine intervention, rapid manifestations come through family, exhaustion, travel, realizations, harvest, crown chakra, throat chakra, revelations, prosperity, financial and spiritual abundant, spiritually abundant, sorry y'all. Universal test, career transition, karma, mental illness, forced changes, career transition, yes, fear of the unknown, thief, recovery, karmic rewards, unexpected travel. Okay, so some of you all have, uh, some of y'all may be actually getting invited somewhere um, via a friend or something of that nature, but definitely take the trip. For some of you all, there's a need, it's harvest time. So I definitely feel the energy around you guys needing to be receptive, Aquas, more than anything, because you can have whatever you like. It's your season. You, some of you, For most of you all, this is because you've done the work. For others of you, you have one last step to kind of complete, okay? So I'm going to get it going because I got a bunch of shit going on. I got the uh, Barbieri cards for you guys. I pulled from the Osha Zone Tarot to kind of touch on the subconscious space as well as the angel messages, okay? So let's talk about it, Aqua. Overall energy around the reading. I got the Nine of Hearts, okay? You guys, and I got the Ace of Cups, all right? 
So for some of you all, I got two different scenarios that I'm here. For some of you all, this could be tied to someone being um, addicted to a particular, like somebody kind of pushing the brakes on love or putting this wall up with this fear of um, someone not having control of themselves. Somebody doesn't want to make the mistake of accepting some type of love offer from a situation that may become a burden later due to someone's addictions, addiction issues, even though there is a lot of love in this union, okay? For some of you all, you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, for others of you, this has to do with you getting your wishes. I feel like with you actually making the move towards your business endeavor or taking that leap of faith, for some of you all, you have a chance meeting with someone who, some of y'all actually going to meet your person in the month of September. For some of you all, I actually heard October as well. Okay, so let's get it. Let's talk about it. Aquarius. Okay. We got four angel messages, you guys. The first one I got was, you are safe. Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home, okay? So I feel like some of you all, for some of y'all, in order to get to this new love, you're having to release something, and you need to know that you are divinely guided. You're being divinely guided to be a catalyst to someone's awakening. For some of you all, in order to move forward, because for some of you all, I'm actually hearing a renewal. So some of you guys could be going through some type of renewal in your life with a particular situation. I heard family ties. So for some of you all, there's a need for you to know that you're safe moving forward in the situation. Someone has undergone some type of transformation. Others of you, they're saying it's safe to speak your truth. It's safe to set boundaries without this fear of lack thereof. Others of you, this is about you standing up for your beliefs, your value structure, not allowing other people to project their religion, their beliefs, their damn fears, their doubts, their negativity. A lot of you guys are separating your energy from toxic situations, people, places, things. It's, it's A lot of you all are going in this space of solitude, not full of this. For some of you all, you're going into this newness, and there's this, this, this um, I feel like... There's a sense of like a, how can I put it? Someone who habitually feels the need to have their damn sword off as if they have to be defensive or protect themselves from something. But the thing is, you manifested love. Your manifestations are coming in very rapidly. So definitely watch your thoughts and be very responsible with the things that you speak, Aquarius. For some of you all, you should actually be noticing that right now. Some of you all, um, hmm. Some of you guys are covered by your archangel. There's a need for you all to um, verbally speak out and ask your archangels, your ancestors, ancestors, and give them that permission or that authority to intervene on your behalf in a particular matter where you feel as if you may be either hurt. Somebody coming out the woodworks, somebody could have had a secret child. You could have had a secret family with someone, and someone's tired of being a secret. Because they they begin to lack around the child, and you're speaking up this month. Fuck what you got going on. This is what was going on. So somebody, yeah, Aquarius. Some of y'all making somebody face the music during this time. Spirit wants you to know that you are safe. You are being divinely guided to do so because this person has an issue with releasing themselves from situations that are unhealthy. And for some of you all, it's a situation that you're needing to surrender and. Like, I'm, I'm not, for some of y'all, it's not a need to walk away. It's a need for you to remain in your own damn bubble and allow things, allow the towers around a particular situation to fall. Because there's a lot of information that you're going to be receiving. But just know, after you receive this information, you guys, it's safe to move forward on it as you see fit, okay? Because for some of you all, you're going to be somebody, you're going to be somebody's karma. Some of y'all could be dealing with a situation where someone could have treated you very bad in the past. This person could be going through some type of health issues. They're needing you to be the rock. Move, continue moving from this space of benevolence, Aquarius. It's a blessing on the other side for this. And for some of you all, there's a need for you all to release a situation where you feel as if it is mentally affecting you at this point. Some of y'all may also be having headaches or 
um, tingling, with, tingling within like the, within the crown chakra space. Some of you all are really needing to trust what it is that you feel. Trust your gut when it comes to the things that you feel. Things are going to be revealed around this Pisces moon to you all. For some of you all, whatever you were looking for clarity on a particular situation in the month of July, as we move into the latter part of September, somebody's shit going to fall in your lap and Spirit wants you to know that you don't need anyone. But to have the ability to trust your own self, trust your God, and connect with the most high. Next message, I got healthy lifestyle. Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health, okay? So some of you all could definitely be changing your diet. Some of you guys are in the space of healing. Again, removing yourself from anything that is toxic, that is negative, that is going to affect your growth in a negative way. For some of you all, you actually want to move towards some type of health care. Like some of you all are holy, uh, are into, uh, are finally starting your business into holistics. Some of you all have various amounts of esoteric knowledge. Some of you all are sages and some of you guys have been communicating between realms and you're afraid that if you put some of these messages out that somebody's going to hurt you. Spirit wants you to know that you're safe. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it, I feel. For some of you all, there's a need for you all to get more sleep. Some of you all are using work and the the aspect of being busy. Like some of you guys are staying busy in order not to deal with your emotions or deal with your fears. Or deal with making a damn decision that has been heavy on your heart to make. For some of y'all I'm hearing since March. Others of y'all I'm hearing since July. Others of you all I'm hearing definitely in the month of August and in the month of September. There could be some type of events unfolding around someone's health around you. This could be um this could be a father figure for some of you all. This could be a sister, someone younger if it's a female. Some of you all there's a need for you, yeah. For some of y'all, something had to happen in order to humble someone or to make them see or know unconditional love. But by you choosing to be that and self-sacrificing, even though I'm going to get on your butt about self-sacrificing because there's levels to that shit, I will. You get your wish. Whether it's with a particular person or someone brand new. Others of you are needing to see. Yeah, some of y'all, somebody's looking in the mirror. Somebody's looking in the mirror, Aqua. Some of you guys could be looking at yourself or having some type of insecurities around your body. Spirit wants you to know that instead of focusing on thinking so damn much, a lot of you all are in this space of healing. I definitely feel the energies are going to be very sensitive for you guys during this Pisces full moon. Things from the past may begin to creep up, especially any type of abandonment issues. Some of y'all still need to get some type of childhood wound off your chest to a father figure or some type of matriarchal figure. For some of y'all, it's a mother. Stand your ground. Let them, let whoever this person knows how it affects you when they either compare you and make you feel less than some of y'all finna bounce up and tell a motherfucker bitch I'm a whole star at you put some respect on my name watch how you handle me others of you there are some type of uh, yeah some of y'all could be dreaming of things synchronistically y'all could definitely be seeing 1111 222 a whole lot there's changes coming to some type of stable, stable situation or the foundations around a situation. Someone could be moving out. Some of y'all could be moving in with another person. Some of you all are afraid that you're going to take some type of ill with moving in with another person. You, you're afraid that what you built or the sense of stability that you come to know will be threatened. You need to see this see this situation from a heart space and not overthink it. You need to make a heart overhead decision. Okay. Next angel message I got you guys is all is well. Archangel Jeremiel. 
Everything is happening. I'm sorry, y'all. I was trying not to do it, but I had to. My mouth is dry. Y'all keep seeing me licking my lips dry. Mm. <laughs> sorry. <sighs> Next message I got, you guys, is all is well. Archangel Jeremy. Everything is happening as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. Okay? So for some of you all, this has to do with harvest, rapid manifestations, okay? For some of you all, there's diff some of y'all are going to receive some type of massive ass crown, show, uh, crown chakra download. And I feel like it's going to have to do with your dreams, your purpose, also connected to past life energy here. Some of you all are artists, your writers, your publishers. Some of you all are putting out your work. You're introducing a new project. Some of you all, you're you're set to, um, you're actually planning this now. Could actually be starting this in the month of November. For some of you all, you could have actually started a new project in the month of June, and maybe there is this sense of this sense of feeling as if you're failing or as if things are stagnant around this time regarding a particular area, a particular passion that you had, and it's because for some of you all. Spirit is calling you to walk your divine path, but I feel as if there's this threat or this fear of the unknown. It's like you've already seen or you're manifesting. You're calling this damn lack to you before you even give living out your dream a chance. Based on what other people saying around you, there's a need for you to protect your energy, protect your space. Y'all, say less during the month of September. Say less and listen more because for some of you all, you're going to be getting a lot of clarity. Some of you all are in this space of watching people's body language. You paying attention to the way that they act, the way that they move, the things that they say. Some of you all are also coming into um, various um, spiritual abilities. For some of you all, I, I, my ear began to ring when I told you that. So some of y'all could actually be finding out that you're clairvoyant. Some of you all are clairaudient. You may be doing research regarding... Um, Different Odishas, different gods. For some of you all, you may be also doing some type of prosperity work. Some of you guys need to clean off your ancestor altar. And some of you all have abandoned your ancestor altar and they want to hear from you, baby. The next message you guys got was, also I was trying to see if I got something else from you, y'all. Sorry. Yeah, but I definitely see a lot of momentum for you guys as well. Things that things that were moving slow in the past, they're going to pick up at a steady space, at a uh, at a steady pace. And I feel like for some of you all, this has to do with for somehow it's a connection and it's divinely it's it's divinely protected. But someone had to go through some type of massive and I feel like it happened like somebody crown I mean crown chakra, somebody's heart chakra began to crack. Open and I feel like this person was trying to hold on to this resistant energy, which could have eventually affected their health or will. Toward the, you found this out later, toward in the latter um, weeks of September. For some of you all, this actually may even go into the month of October. Some of y'all, you offering this person the gift of compassion. From an unconditional space, and it's making this person, it's really causing this person to feel this sense of loneliness because they didn't offer you that in one, in some period. Aquarius. This person now sees you as a gift from God, which brings me to my next angel message: gifts from God. Archangel Sandifine, we angels bring you gifts from your Creator. Open your arms to receive, okay? So for some of you all, this is actually about actually sharing um, sharing the lo sharing a loving experience with another person. For others of you, this is also, I'm hearing forgiveness or some type of an apology. For others of you, this actually is a gift of prosperity. You're receiving harvest for the previous seeds in which you've planted. For some of you all, there is a gift from God on the other side when you choose to release yourself from a situation knowing that you will reveal, you will have happiness. Some of you all are holding on to the time that you were associated with an individual versus the loyalty that was given and reciprocated with the fucking individual. And a need to set boundaries thereof 
in order to move forward. Some of you all are receiving some type of assistance. Some of y'all, y'all dreams are very lit right now. Some of you guys could also be finding out that you have the gift of, uh, the gift of astral projection. I feel like it's some of y'all are scared of y'all spiritual gifts, and there's a need for you all to take this space, take this time, and literally connect with yourself. Go inward. And first and foremost, assess them damn fears, because it ain't fucking real for real. Now, that's for real. Faith and fear cannot be aligned on the same path in here, okay? So some of you guys are actually facing your fears in the month of September, whether it comes to love, new businesses, sharing a particular gift that you have with the world. You're afraid of being judged by this gift, but it's actually going to be a blessing, but you just got to jump off the damn cliff to find out, sis, bro, the fuck? Right, so the signs that I got for you guys for the month of September, which may be very uh, prevalent, one second, you could have these uh, signs in your chart. This could also, I'm hearing, it could be the sun, the rising, the Venus, okay? Why not the moon? I'm not going to ask no questions. They said the sun, the rising, the Venus, okay? For some of you all, I got Aries. I got Leo. All oh, the fire babies up here, Sagittarius. I got Pisces. I got Libra, okay? So if you're dealing with an Aries in the month of September, for some of you all, this could be some type of renewal or re, a, a restart. Someone wants to start this situation over with an Aries. Someone, yeah, I did not say somebody want, somebody want to start this situation over if you're dealing with an Aries. Some of you guys are needing to, or either you or another person is needing to uh, possibly release someone from your past, though, or the fears around the way that you perceive opening up and being vulnerable in relationships out of this space of feeling as if that wall keeps you safe. Some of you guys are needing to release a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or another Aquarius like yourself in order to renew a situation where both parties is willing to put in the work where maybe one person could have felt rejected in the past, okay? Some of y'all are going to have to let go of water sign in order to work it out or start something new with an earth sign as well. Yeah, that, yeah, for some of y'all, hmm. Some of you guys are insecure about starting something new with this Aries person. And you could be attached to an earth sign or a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like someone feels as if it's not safe to invest in this renewal, even though Spirit is saying you guys are going into a new cycle. But both parties are really needing to do some inner work, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with uh, if there was issues in the past with finances or someone just being focused on their finances. Somebody was covering up their feelings. I do feel that I'm hearing some of y'all this is a past relationship. Somebody was focusing on money to not think about love or not be receptive to love, even though they love the hell out of you. Now, this person wants to show you that you're their star Aquarius, okay? For some of you all, you manifested this love back through you healing. And now y'all realize that this person coming back and they're in the same space of healing that they left you in. And you needed to make a damn decision on if you're going to invest and love this person unconditionally. Some of y'all are going to choose to start over some type of foundation of a friendship and just go with the flow. And I definitely see that being positive. But there's definitely needing bound there's needing to be boundaries reset here. For some of y'all, it's a new Aries, okay? If you're dealing with the sign of Leo, I definitely feel like for some of you all, there could be some type of rapid changes with the Leo. I feel that some of you guys are in this space. Okay, yeah, hold on. Some of y'all, y'all Leo actually may propose to you, okay? I'm sorry, I just ruined it. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. But others of you, this person, there's issues. Yeah. Some of y'all going to give somebody an ultimatum or this person is giving you an ultimatum with letting someone go from your past. who could be a water sign, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, yeah, some of y'all, Leo from your past is wanting to come back and offer you something stable. I feel like in the past, this person did not open up. This person is wanting to bring in changed behavior. <clears throat> changed behavior. Some of y'all could even be finding out that this Leo person... Some of you, for those of you who know that you needed to release a Leo, because I see that here too. Some of you guys, uh, regarding this Leo person, there's some type of somebody want to let you know that they had that, that that they felt the same way that you did, but they didn't really know how to express their emotions. Okay, for some of you all, 
Hmm. Some of you all are already in some type of relationship or partnership, possibly with um, an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. And this person from your past is coming in, fucking shit up with this during this Pisces full moon energy. And I feel like it's leaving you in this space of not knowing what to do. Some of y'all going to juggle both of their ears, okay? And some of y'all, I mean, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I see. And for some of you all, hmm, some of y'all could have been very patient in the past, waiting for this person to get their shit together. But as soon as you decide to move forward to something abundant, here this person comes telling you to be patient. Some of y'all are letting somebody know, this Leo know, listen, I'm not waiting on your ass. I'm over it. Some of y'all have a Leo that needs to detach from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Sagittarius from their past. And if we can't change this shit, then I'm going to be patient with myself and move the fuck on, okay? If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, some of you guys could be completing a cycle with this person. Yeah, you could definitely have children with this person as well. For some of you all, yeah, for some of you all, there's going to be some type of, hmm, somebody who's dealing with the sign of Sagittarius Aquarius, there could be some type of truth coming out regarding this person Connecting with their child's mother or father. Full moon coming out with all the damn secrets I see. For some of you guys, um, some of you guys, this person is needing to make a decision. Or they're needing to make a decision possibly between yourself and a Pisces, a Virgo, a Cancer, Aries, Taurus. Definitely somebody who they have children with. For some of you all. This, you're going to end the cycle with this person because they're refusing to end the cycle in some type of relationship or some type of family uh, partnership that they've been telling you that they're going to cut off, but you're just not really with the shits. For some of you all, with this situation around the Sagittarius, some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant by this person. And in the midst of you celebrating your damn pregnancy, Shit hits the fan because maybe you or this other person could have shared it on social media. Somebody could have been trying to come for you. Exposed. Exposed. Oh, well, that's funny because I was just this. I don't know why the hell I just heard that. But, yeah. Avoid drama, y'all. Some of y'all, this person could be a Leo. An Aries person. Yeah. You're wrapping up a cycle with the sign of Sagittarius. This could also be energy. Someone's outside dealing energy. But some of you all, I see this as you removing your energy, ending a cycle in order to start something new, possibly with the Leo. Okay. If you're dealing with the sign of Libra, there I heard missing piece. Okay. So I definitely feel that justice will definitely be served in this situation. For some of you all, I feel like this is good karma. If you're dealing with the Libra, this person could actually be, well, they would actually not want to open up and be vulnerable. Okay. This person is wanting to open up and be vulnerable with you or you them. And that is the only thing that's preventing this. Okay. For some of you all, some of y'all could be starting some, some of y'all could be, um, either you or this Libra could, could have, uh, had to leave out of some type of, or get away from some type of partnership in order to start something new. I see for some of y'all, yeah, this person could be attached to a Capricorn towards Virgo. Okay. For some of you all, this person, you yeah, some of y'all done tried to release this shit with this Libra before due to them giving the two relationships, okay? For some of you, if you have a new opportunity with the Libra and you feel as if they're attached to somebody else or someone else is holding on to them from the past that they're not telling you about, you're absolutely right. This person could be a Capricorn towards Virgo. This person could also be a ca uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I feel that they're, they're, they're saying trust your intuition and the synchronicity that's coming to you, well, sorry, that's coming to you in your dream space. As well as, that's why you got to sit back, say less, through conversations of mutual friends. Some of y'all, some of y'all are going to find out that this person is dealing with another person due to someone contacting you via social media for some. And for some of y'all, somebody's going to pop up on, pop up where someone is. Oh, shit. All right, if you're dealing with the sign of Pisces, I feel like you and this person, this person, you you both bring expansion to each other's lives. I feel that some of you guys feel as if this person is a bit immature. Some of you guys could also be, yeah, you know, some of y'all could also be receiving some type of uh, financial. Somebody, hmm, 
Somebody could be receiving, especially if you have children with this person or family with this person, somebody could be receiving some type of um, financial assistance from this Pisces. They want to come back and balance the skills. They want to do the right thing. They also want to be back in your good graces, Aquarius. Some of you guys, ooh, okay. Some of you guys, um, there's definitely healing in the situation if you're dealing with a Pisces. I feel like in the past, maybe this person could have communicated childishly. Maybe this person could have also been communicating with the ex, someone who they was married and had children with in the past. Some of y'all could also be finding out that even though there's love with this person, this person has yet to fully lay a situation to rest with the Gemini, a Virgo, a Libra. Hmm. For some of you all, some of y'all was releasing the damn Pisces and moving forward because you're tired of having to tell somebody that they need not talk to the mother of their kids. If you if you wasn't done over there, why the hell did you bring your ass over here? Hmm. Hmm. Some of you guys are, yeah, some of you guys are indecisive on if you want to continue things uh, possibly with this Pisces. For some of y'all, this person could have left you out the dark, left you... Some of y'all, this person could have been indecisive on which way they wanted to go, or that they wanted to restart a cycle with you. If this person was getting some type of divorce or some type of separation, this person is looking at the monetary aspects around it or the other person. And I feel like for some of you all, yeah, for some of you all, you can find out this person is going to reconcile with the person who they were initially divorcing. I'm sorry, Aquas. And for some of you all, this is your motherfucking twin flame, and you're needing to walk away from possibly a Libra or a damn Cancer or a damn Taurus Capricorn in order to reconcile with this person. Because I feel like there is a whole lot of love here with this Pisces. But there's a whole lot of indecisiveness. There's a whole lot of pause, go, pause, go, pause, go, which is making the other person fearful of giving fully to the situation even though there is so much love here the foundation of why this is still standing is because of love oh yeah and passion y'all got some good sex some of y'all is possibly even holding off on sex with this person until you get some type of truth that you needed somebody did something when they was drunk or they said they was drunk they, unless they were just repetitiously drunk you're gonna find that out too anywho let's get it are we already 32 minutes in this damn thing? Oh, shit. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Let's get it. All right. So we're going to do pull from the ocean zone. So I'm just going to explain this real quick for you guys. The messages you guys, that fell out for you guys was politics. Somebody's too fucking faced. Some of y'all gonna find out somebody's very too faced. It. Some of you guys, uh, someone could be giving you some type of advice regarding. Um, this could even be me regarding removing the mask and walking in this space of authenticity. Because for some of you all, your guys are trying to communicate with you that there is this abundance that makes a peace comes from within you sharing um, your experiences with others. Spirit is saying for some of you all, some of y'all are being guided also during this time to let go of control. Surrender to surrender to your attachment to the outcome, okay? Because for some of you all, you could be trying to control the situation or someone's trying to, okay. Some of you guys could be finding out that what's been preventing you from getting into some type of unionship with someone, with someone either mentally manipulating another person or somebody got a telepathic connection with you and I feel like this person is some of you guys huh you need to trust what you feel and trust your inner guidance when it comes to a particular controlling person you guys yes mask off somebody's fucking mask is coming off during this time some of you all are being called to unmask some type of information regarding uh politics law and you're afraid that somebody gonna be coming for you later you're being divinely guided to do this. They're saying release that, release that aspect of fear that had you moving from this space of trying to control the outcome because you're going to manifest that shit. 
I definitely feel like for some of you all, there's a need for you. You're being guided to surrender in a situation in order to bring harmony into it, knowing that you are the master of your own reality. For some of you all, this has to do with the alignment of thought, word, action, and the rapid manifestations that fall into in, in your lap. But it's not going to come from a space of you obsessing over it. Baby. You're trying to control it. You're being divinely guided. Some of y'all have a guy that's a mother, fig a, mother, uh, a mother figure or a grandmother figure. Some of you are being guided to walk away from some type of situation. Uh, also possibly involving uh, some other female. Maybe a fire sign or earth sign female. Some of y'all said Gemini. Cancer. You're being called to keep your peace. Hold your peace. Walk away. That's how you win. Okay. Let's get a few more messages that you have for my Aquarius. 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 For the month of September. 2019. Love. General message that you have. That's what I love. My Aquarius. Alright. Baby. Yeah. Some of you guys, uh, yeah, some of you guys are, they go to damn ultimatum again. Some of y'all could be giving an earth sign an ultimatum. Um, some of y'all is another air sign to either cut off someone from their past who they're still communicating with, or you're going to have to dip on that ass, okay? For some of you all, um, those of you who is waiting to hear from some type of job, there's this level or there's this questioning of worth during this time, y'all. Do not settle for anything less than what it is that you feel that you deserve. You release a situation that does not serve your self-worth or your growth, or the, the, the levels that you've had to kind of ascend, or the heights that you've had to ascend past or beyond in order to get to this point. For some of y'all, the person who broke you and was the catalyst to your awakening wants to come back and make an offer to you that's stable now. This person now knows what their feelings is. And they want to give you this equal give and take. For some of you all, you waited on it forever. <clears throat> and as soon as you release that aspect of control, here this person comes and now it's you. The shooting that look the shoe on the other fit on the other foot Aquarius. Some of you guys are indecisive during this time, okay? Some of you guys, um some of y'all need to set y'all boundaries when it comes to some of y'all feel as if someone and this could be for my at home moms or fathers. Some of y'all feel like somebody made good money and they're using money to control you from moving forward to keep you in this space of indecisiveness because you're going to always be questioning your ability to take care of your damn self. This person could be another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could even be happening to someone who you want something, you want something to move forward with. For some of y'all, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and some of y'all, it's a, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you guys, yeah. Somebody make you feel less than or someone, someone is using, some of y'all going to find out. It's going to be illuminated to you. I'm hearing in the subconscious. Some of y'all could also see this within your meditative state. Some of you guys could also be, um, some of y'all could also be laying your own cards regarding a situation. And you trying to avoid that damn towel. But the thing is, you're perceiving, you're, some of y'all are waiting on a tower to come in from the external. For some of y'all, that's the case. A tower is coming. But for some of you all, you are the motherfucking tower. They were the catalyst to your awakening first. But because this person, for some of y'all, is a divine counterpart, your turn. You're going to have to, for some of you guys, set boundaries with this person. In the past, I allowed you to give me pennies, give me crumbs. Give me a little love here. But some of y'all, this person was even kind of dangling sex on the string like it was a damn privilege. And now you've come to the realistic motherfucker, I'm the star. And I feel like for some of you all, it's forcing this person to deal with their own insecurities uh, around abandonment. Some of y'all are finding out that you, that you deal, some of y'all dealing with somebody who has some type of mental, mental illness. And I feel like it's coming from their ancestry, like it's coming from their, maybe you just find this out for some of y'all. Some of you guys, um, you're going to choose to finally walk away from a situation involving a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Either you or this other person wants to start something new, something serious. And I feel like somebody is attached to 
toxic ass energy. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's addicted to chaos. And I feel like you focusing on commitment, fulfillment, walking away from shit that's going to prevent you from being your greatest self. And I feel like this person. Hmm. Some of y'all got another air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, but someone, someone who you're attached to, the mother of their children, is watching you. Some of y'all, this person could even be shedding, shedding light on the situation um, to give you that clarity from the month of July. Hello, there you go. Possibly involving a water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Some of you all are going to find out that you stood by a person and what they said. And when you and this person could have went through some type of a breakup in the past or some type of separation, they did to you exactly what they denied doing to another person and karma's a bitch. I feel like it's a double-edged sword in this particular situation. And you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, a Leo. Others of you, hmm, others of you are going to be receiving some type of opportunity to move possibly to a whole other state somewhere where there's water. For others of you, it's a place where there's a whole lot of rocks. Or like mountains. I feel like you're going to get what you want when it comes to some type of position. Some of you all, this is positive news about some type of investment. Some of you guys could have recently um, applied for some type of bank loan or business loan or student loan or business grant positive news on that okay for some of you all um, once there's a decision that's made to choose to release a situation that was a karmic situation he has past life but this person came to mirror the growth and the work that still needed to be done in your life and now that you've done that work you see smooth through this motherfucker and you bite over it you just tired listen keep your nun opening up ass over there some of y'all dealing with a damn scorpio who don't know how to open up and give their feelings and I feel like this could be a new person. You actually see newness with this. You know, okay. Somebody is nervous about the truth coming out regarding, and this could have came through the form of court, okay? This could have involved a Libra, a Pisces, a... Some of y'all are going to find out that the reason why you've been uneasy around a particular person and this person been trying to heal shit, keep shit undercover... This person could be a water sign. You're going to find out that in the midst of them thinking they were slick, trying to go balance, juggle you and somebody who they have children with, that person could have gotten pregnant. That person could be a Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Leo. I definitely feel like someone was trying to be manipulative and hide it from their past. Again, it could be a damn Sagittarius. Okay? Some of y'all just have to do with a Gemini. Others of you. Others of you, the mother or father of your child wants to come. They go that damn Gemini again. <laughs> Others of you, the mother or father wants to come. Some of y'all to Leo. Someone wants to come and transform a situation with you. But I feel like you're afraid to take a leap of faith. Some of y'all is Aries. This person, some of y'all, this person is having some type of recognition that you are um, a divine counterpart to them. And they want to hold on to you. They want your, they want their family back. Some of y'all, you definitely have... Uh, a family with this person. Somebody want to hold on to their family situation. They want to drop the mask. Hmm. They're confidently going to speak this to you too. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Some of you guys are going into a new cycle after somebody released this, this karmic shit, okay, that they've been resisting and being in this space and being in their head and fighting themselves. Somebody's finally going to release the shit, okay? Some of y'all are going to release a relationship and move forward. And don't worry about how much that you've actually invested because what you continue to see is third party shit and a shortage in your motherfucking funds. The reward comes through Jupiter when you release this motherfucker who is a taker in your life, Aquarius. Give that same energy to yourself. You deserve it. Okay. For some of y'all, um, you're going, you're releasing a, a cycle that was toxic with an individual and going into a new one. And in this new cycle, some of y'all is destined for you to have children by this. It's destined for you to have a little cheering by this person and commitment. So if you're not trying to be pregnant, get pregnant from now until October, y'all better be careful because this damn energy looks really, 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 really fertile. Some of y'all going to also find out it's going to be illuminated regarding someone um, who could have been hiding a son. 
yeah, I go there. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Oh, hold on. Let me give y'all some advice. I'm going to let you down from the lead. Just, ooh. What advice do you have, my parents? What advice do you have, my parents? Listen, I can't make this shit up. Listen. Listen. Some of y'all gave an ultimate, gave somebody an ultimatum. Listen, I'm going to stand by you with this whole court decision shit. But if I found out that you made a baby on me and I found out that she was trying to work some shit out behind my back, I'm gone. Okay? Because I feel like some of y'all gave a person an open opportunity to tell the truth and they shit finna hit the fan. Okay? So for some of y'all, the advice would be some of you guys are needing to make that damn judgment call on if you're going to resurrect this family situation that you could have moved away from. It could involve a damn Sagittarius, a Scorpio, Capricorn. Okay? I do feel like someone wants to work work to get beyond this layer of defensiveness from you Aquarius either you or this I feel like the mutual energy between y'all is wanting to work this out in the past where there's been defensiveness I feel like someone is going to be wanting to work a situation out express their love with to their damn with their damn divine counterpart okay so for some of you guys this could be um Aries Taurus Scorpio Cancer Pisces Scorpio I do feel like someone is going to resurrect the family situation, bring back the love. Now that both parties are willing to be to put in the work, someone had to experience some type of transformation within the heart chakra to be able to see this love. For some of y'all, it's definitely Aries, but I feel like for some of y'all, you don't even see it coming. Oh, this juicy! Y'all tell me if you haven't already followed me at Instagram, y'all at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. I'm working on not sucking in social media um, for the weeklies there. Uh, even when I go to Mexico, I still may do um, a damn quick Instagram live as far as touching up on energies and show y'all my little my little bathing suits and stuff and whatnot. I'm excited, you guys. But I love you all a long time. If you need a personal reading, remember, get it in before the 19th. And I love you. That information will be found in the description. And peace and love to you guys. Mwah. Namaste, babies.